Should we start renovating? I went to Dunelm yesterday and picked up a few things. And I know you're gonna say none of these curtains match, but let me show you. There's four windows and I've got a pair of purple curtains that we're currently still gonna use. But I picked up these, which are quite an interesting pattern. It's part of the Natural History Museum. Got this one on sale and it was still cheaper than all the others. A matching set would have been about 40 pound each per curtain. We don't know how bad the damp is in this place just yet. So I don't wanna buy like really lovely curtains and then they go moldy. I got a couple of others which are kind of the right size. I think they'll work. I found this really nice red pair for six pound, which is a bargain. I think it will work for what we currently want. And then the final one I picked up looks kind of messy. I picked up these blue curtains for £2.50. £2.50 for a pair of curtains. I thought that was pretty good. So all the curtains are different colours, but it will be fine. It's it works. I also got a toilet seat because we now have plumbing and there wasn't a toilet seat on the toilet. I got a blind for the kitchen. It wasn't essential, but the one that we've got currently is a little bit moldy. When it comes to curtain poles, I didn't realize how expensive they were. So I picked up literally the cheapest ones in the shop. I got two of these gold ones for 16 pound, but I haven't bought a drill yet, so we can't put the new curtains up. We need to remove the wallpaper. Yay. I'm pretty sure it's drywall because there isn't any movement, but we've got this wall and we've got one wall upstairs. I want to go around and polyfill at any cracks that we've got, but I currently can't do most of the wall with it covered. I watched a YouTube video, so let's give it a go. I'm gonna use this rag, which I cut off some old pajamas. I've got some masking tape and part of a ripped carrier bag that I'm gonna use to cover the sockets. And I think this is pretty much everything, so let's give it a shot. Do you like my makeshift tarp? I used five bin bags and hopefully they'll be fine. I mean, we're probably gonna change the carpet anyway, since there's only one room that needs to be done. That might work, right? I have a bucket of water. I used a lot of videos and some people use loads of chemicals, but I found this guy that only uses water. So we're gonna try that. How easy this wallpaper came off. I mean, you saw some of it. There's like a tiny bit of adhesive over here, but honestly, like the entire thing peeled off like that. The electrician's been round, so now that the electric's all off, I can carry on with this wall and wet it. We don't have hot water, so the water's gonna be cold. I've not been looking forward to it. I'm already pretty wrapped up. Let's do it.
Oh my god, this is so unsatisfying. appreciate how cute my curls are looking today. I literally washed it. No product, no scrunching, nothing. I washed it and I let it dry and I think it's looking pretty cute. I don't know if you can tell. Let's head to the house. Are you ready for the most fun haul I've ever done? That was beyond dumb. Let's go do something. Oh, I kind of want to sand this down. I'm not a huge fan of this being white. Upstairs, it's like a really lovely wood, but downstairs, it's just white. So I want to sand it down and see what's underneath. See if it can actually look like wood. I could do this, but this is smelly. <laughs> this isn't working. It's just kind of removing paint. Should we see what's under here? See how grubby that is. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. Apparently the ladder's arrived and it's huge. I ordered it yesterday. Oh no, it's not huge. That's about what I expected. Okay, it's quite big. So the hope is that the ladder's just gonna slide in that gap there and then sort of slide back here and then there and then there. We need the ladder to be able to get to these beams because we want to try and protect them, sand them down, make them nice. Here's what it looks like. This isn't the kind of thing you're gonna nail the first time. And because I was in the car, the paint was taking ages to dry. But I've just noticed all these cracks here, which I think I could do now, so I might work on that. The ladder fits. But well, I'd say that's a pretty good height to be able to do the beams. Just takes up the entire room. I make the spackle. I kind of did it, that's the first one done. I don't know about you, but I've had my eye on this McDonald's chicken burger for so long. So we're gonna treat ourselves and go get a burger. This is so dead. Never looked in the mirror and not seen yourself. Like you got lost somewhere along the way. Well, maybe you just need some help getting back. But that's not something they tell you these days. I never wanted to. We have electricity. The fake heater works. <laughs> Please warm me. It's cold. We need to do more polyfiller. I'm going to have to take some layers off because uh, I look a bit ridiculous. I've got my jacket. I've got this fluffy thing. I've got this fluffy thing and I've got a t-shirt. Kind of adorable. A little sander. We're gonna work on the beams and I have no clue how this is gonna work. So just a full warning, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out. Don't judge. I have gloves, I have a mask. Literally the exact same size. Okay, that's a slight problem. We're gonna have to improvise. I think that worked surprisingly well. 
This is gonna take longer than I thought. It is taking forever, but how lovely does that wood look? We really need to treat it with insecticide. And in order to do that, we need to take all of the varnish off. Hardly anything's coming off, so I'm gonna remove this. This is where we're at. Honestly, it doesn't look very far at all. But there's a lot to do. There's a lot of beams. There's that one, there's this big one, this one that goes into the hallway, and then there's one there that kind of goes bathroom and on top of the stairs. So there's four beams. I think now we're gonna move on to that one and see if it comes off any easier. <laughs> I think these are actually different. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna swap to this one. I mean, does that one look done? We're back rocking the exact same outfit because everything else is packed. Very exciting today. I've got my AirPods so I can listen to some music. There's a lot that I've done that I haven't really showed you because it's so kind of boring. This wall. Um, the wallpaper paint didn't really want to come off, so we're just kind of going to paint over it. Oh, I still haven't got used to these stairs. This is the other wall. Taken off the mould, scraped off the mould. As for the beams, same story. They're not right down to the wood. It's a lot of the varnish is still not coming off. So I'm going to pop out later and get some paint stripper, which I think will actually be less abrasive than the amount I would need to sand to get all the varnish off. In the house, it... It moves, there's a lot of cracks. It's not very exciting, but that's today's plan. We kind of want to do all the smelly tasks this week. Things like painting the walls once they've been polyfilled, the wood treatment for the dry rot and the beetles, the bleach to clean the mold. We need to do all the smelly stuff this week because once we're paying for central heating, I don't want to send it out the window. When I say cracks, this is the level that we're dealing with, like, Big old cracks. But I had a really interesting thought yesterday and I need to show you. I was in our flat and I just had the realization. Here's the kitchen. We've got a cupboard, cupboard, glass. Where's the cutlery gonna go? These aren't drawers. We haven't got any drawers. The only thing that we do have is this under the oven. This is like on the floor. Where are we gonna put the cutlery? And where is the toothbrush? I need to mix. I just picked up these cloths and there were wood lice inside. So we need to fill up these cracks. So the good news is I used up all the filler before it went a little bit hard and weird. But the bad news is I got the perfect consistency and now I need to mix more. I drastically underestimated how much filler we'd need. We've run out, it's been an hour. So we're gonna have to move on to something else. I think curtain poles? According to YouTube, the curtains are in completely the wrong place because this is the corner of the window and they're up here. Apparently they're supposed to be somewhere here. So that makes me wonder why. Is there a reason? Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look great. because it's not even attached. It's just falling apart. I'm gonna leave it. We've ordered new windows and they'll be coming hopefully in the next three months. The curtain pole is down and do you wanna see something fun? The windows are so bad that you can see through the seal. I really love these exposed skirting boards. So what I wanted to try is just seeing if we can sand down the gloss off of these skirting boards. I feel like it would look nicer for this to be exposed wood and then we just wax them all the same color. The top is coming off fine with the point. 
but this bit's struggling to come off. It would be lovely if it could match all of the other wood. Maybe we could strip it. It bleaches out, so I've got the mask on. I'm gonna take off this blind. Next time in the moving series, we'll be continuing exactly where we left off, renovating this 100 year old cottage and finally moving in. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye bye. Thank you.